हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सैम सिक्स जीरो सिक्स ब्लॉग्स फॉर माय इंट्रोडक्शन आई एम शशांक राठौर आई एम बेसिकली बिलोंग फ्रॉम चित्तौड़गढ़ करेंटली लिविंग इन जयपुर फॉर माय हायर स्टडीज एंड आई एम एटीन इयर्स ओल्ड माई मैन यू कैन से रिव्यू वीडियो ऑफ द फोर्ड इको स्पोर्ट ट्वेंटी so let's roll the video profile of the car the front profile of the car is completely changed from the previous generation as you can see the grille is highlighted by the chrome newly added projector headlamp with one halogen bulb and a new signature style of the car is there which is drs daytime running lamps and just below it halogen bulbs are present now come into the side profile of the car car comes with 16 inch alloy wheels which is top end variant in petrol version which is in titanium and 17 inch alloy wheels in titanium plus which is diesel variant Although side profile remains same, the profile of the car, the back profile of the car remains same. The only change is in the number plate section. It look more stylish than previous. Although all remains same as, and you can see a tail lamp unit and a wiper unit. Although all are same. Talk about the boot. The boot will open by the request sensor behind this knob. If we press the knob, the boot will open. In the boot, 350 liter of storage will be stored, and the seats are foldable into 16 to 40 split ratio. The boot looks stylish, and you can put a lot of luggage in it. Lock the door. You can use keys as well as request sensor. But in this, there is no button for request sensor. The car will automatically sense the keys if the keys is with you and unlocks the car. It is inspired by Ford Mustang. and this is the front door of the car which you get this is sufficient for 6 feet people speedometer of the car which involve tachometer speedometer heat engine temperature fuel level and mid multi information display which shows the trip meter average speed distance to empty etc these are the controls of audio these are the controls of mid these are the controls of wiper and these are the controls of headlight Diesel and petrol variant and complete claims about 22 to 23 kilometers per liter in diesel variant and 17 to 18 kilometer per liter in petrol variant. The titanium plus model which offers uh, a 17 inch alloy wheels, a cruise control, and a hill descent control and much more. But it only available in diesel variant, which is a top end variant of this car. As we get from this car is pretty well. I will give this car a seven out of ten points. This car does pretty well in highways, in cities, and in corning. The braking of the car beats all its competitor like Tata Nexon, the Suzuki Vitara Brezza, and much more. We also cruise the car above 100 kilometers per hour, and the car does pretty well in that situation. But only the thing is, steering wheel feels heavy, and it's also continue from the previous generation that uh, I am. little bit of disappointed from this my first vlog so i will surely improve my skills further and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the channel for latest update and share the video bye bye